Welcome to Comic Book Fanatics, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. So I want to uh, share with everybody my online haul for this week, and I had a whole bunch of books come in that I had uh, either order through eBay or I bid on or if, uh, order through a comic shop online or what have you. And nothing spectacular as far as key issues goes or any uh, grails or anything like that. This is just some books I either won, needed for... Uh, to, to close out a run, or just because I love the cover, uh, or or just because overall I I wanted to to have the book, you know. So uh, I just wanted to, to share this with everybody, and hopefully this uh, you know does what it's supposed to do is inspire other people out there. And hopefully, if if you're also a collector of these same series, then uh, maybe kind of gives you an idea of what's out there because I, I tell you what when, when I'm actually watching other people's videos and they have some really good books and I just uh, sometimes it just you know turns a light on me and I'm like oh I had no idea that was out there that's a really nice cover I think I'll get it so with that said we'll go ahead and start uh, start on this haul hold on a second I had to get a drink, take a little sip of my, oh check this out this is my amazing spider-man coffee mug almost has the uh, John Romito senior type of uh, spidey head on it love that got that at Hot Topics by the way I got a lot of bunch of those uh, nice coffee mugs down there okay anyway so uh, let's start out with DC because I got a, a quite a few books from DC and I picked up I wind up getting this uh, GSA number two and it has a um, cover of Power Girl on it and this is an Adam Hughes cover and of course being an Adam Hughes fan and definitely uh, you know the big bosomed Power Girl this is an absolutely beautiful cover black and white of course I just uh, I really wish they would have done a co uh, color one but I was looking for it and I kind of did a little research and there was no color one to, to come out on this one but you know nevertheless still a great book for me to have and then on the right side, you see Wonder Woman 614. Now, this is a variant edition. And this one is just so hard to find. It is just a, I think it's a limited run on this. And it, it's just really sought after for, for, you know, for whatever reason it is. But uh, this is just a really hard book to find. But I was very, very happy to, to be able to find it online and pay a really decent price for it. And when I saw the price for it on eBay, I, I just definitely had to snatch it up really quick. And this has been on my wish list for quite some time. And there's one more that I'm still missing of the variant cover that's just so hard to get. And there's one guy that's selling it from, I think he's in Germany or something. But, oh my God, I think he wanted like 150 bucks for it or something. I was like, nah, there's no freaking way I'm going to spend that much on uh, on that. I, I think I'll just, I'll just hold off and be patient. And hopefully the universe will bring it to me eventually. All right, so moving on. I, or, I, also, I also ordered... Wonder Woman number one, beautiful Terry Dotson cover, and I believe this is of the fourth series, if I'm not mistaken. It's either third or fourth. I believe it's the fourth. But don't get me to lying, guys. It's either one of those. They they've gone up to four volumes already, so it's it's kind of hard for me to kind of keep track of that. But I'm trying to close this run off, so I, I wind up getting this really beautiful cover. I love this cover. It has her on on the front of it, and of course. Um, you know, the great pride of uh, the U.S. Are, is the American Eagle, the American Bald Eagle, and you see those in the picture as well. So I picked that up. Then, also I picked up Wonder Woman 35. This is the Monster of the Month variant cover from last year. I did not have this, so I definitely wanted to pick this one up. Overall, I th I really I really enjoyed these Monster of the Month variant covers. And, of course, you guys know DC is doing a Looney Tunes for the month variant covers and I, I absolutely enjoy those as well so I wound up picking that up and trying to get all the monsters of the month variant covers from the start and then also picked up last year's Superman and Wonder Woman monster of the month variant cover really really eerie <laughs> eerie looking picture with her and uh, Superman on the front alright and 
picked up Justice League of America, number 42. And j this one is just mainly for the cover art on it anyways. I, I love the cover art. I love, you know, when they have really sexy women on the front covers. So it's just it's just one of those things that I, I, I do enjoy having. And it's just really well done. So definitely pick that up. And, of course, you guys know I'm a big Harlequin fan. So I got a, quite a few Harlequin Quins uh, covers that I really like. Now, this is Harlequin number 19. This is the uh, the Chad Harding uh, variant cover for the Alamo City Comic Con one. And this is um, probably one of my favorites. Not the favorite, but one of my favorites. Um, the one I'm, I, I still don't have that I want to get is the one by Adam Hughes. It's the Harlequin variant cover. It has her on the front sort of uh, laying down in a, in a stray jacket. And, but the price on that is absolutely just outrageous, you know. And I, I, I'm not going to pay four or $500 for that. And hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll stumble in on it sometime. But uh, until then, they, they, can, uh, they can keep holding on to that four or $500 until that price goes down. Or if it goes down. If it doesn't, it doesn't. No big deal. But nevertheless... This is a really beautiful cover done by Chad Harding, and um, I'm, I'm very happy to have this one. And it wasn't really that expensive at all, so happy for that. Also, I've been trying to close up some gaps on my Volume 1 of Harlequins, so I wind up getting this one, Harlequin number 3. Now, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, please, but I believe this is the first time all three of the sirens were actually together. Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and Catwoman. So I think this is actually the fir first time, like I said, that uh, you see of them, uh, you see all of them together at one time. Okay, so definitely a good book to have if that's the case. Uh, I believe I, I heard it somewhere on someone else's video at one at one point in time. I don't remember it, um, but not not the reason why I got it. Of course, is. Like I said, I, you know, you guys know if you've seen my past videos that I am a Harley Quinn fan and I'm, I'm trying to cl uh, complete this run out. All right, so also picked up number four. Picked up number five. Number six. Number seven. And number nine, number ten, number seventeen, number nineteen. Funny cover right there. I really like that one. Superman in the barber's chair and Harley Quinn in the back with a chainsaw gonna gonna do him up. All right, and also picked up. Harley Quinn variant cover number one. Really another beautiful cover right there. And of course, um, I believe that is also done by Chad Harding as well. And I really, that's just a really well done one of her. You can see that. Yeah, I know there's a little bit of a glare. And Mylar does that a lot, you know. Uh, just Just kind of reflects everything out, which is good because... It's going to reflect the uh, the the UV lights uh, if any sun or anything hits it like that. So I, I absolutely love mylar. I, I wish I could do all my books in mylar, um, but my not, mylar is a little bit expensive. Um, so I, I try to buy what I can afford at the time, and then just kind of you know slowly start putting all my books into mylar. Nothing wrong with uh, poly bags or anything like that, but. My my personal feeling is just makes the the cover just stand out even looks even more shiny, and then of course it you know it, it protects it uh, much longer, and much better, too because uh, it, it's just you know the acidity base in it and everything the pH balance of the the uh, the mylite and um, you, you definitely can go wrong and and, and you know overall uh, in the long run you, you're probably going to be saving money when you actually decide to do. Um, to do all your books in mylar because they, they they last so much longer their durability of it as well is just just really good so all right so let me take these out and i'll show you the rest of the books i got 
And I also picked up Batman number 613. This has Harley on the cover of it. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. But it is a really beautiful, well done cover. And it is a Jim Lee cover, by the way. So this is, you know, just look how they do Harley in here. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. So I picked that one up. And of course, being Batman and having a Harley cover on it. Now these ones right here are the Batman Volume 2 covers. And, I, and these are mainly all the variants to it. So this is Batman number 2. This is the second variant cover to it. Really, really gorgeous. You know, Greg Capullo, he, he's just absolutely amazing on, on, on this series right here. Love the way he draws. And also picked up uh, number 7 variant cover. And I'm eventually, I'm trying to close up all the gaps on my Batman variant covers. Because I have the straight run uh, from number 1 till current. But uh, I'm missing uh, quite a few of the variant covers. And uh, so I'm definitely trying to, as long as they're a good deal, I'll definitely pick it up. Another variant cover, number 9, Night of the Owls. Number 12 variant cover. Number 13, another variant right there. Alright, number 22, another beautiful variant. Got Bruce Wayne in that bat cave. And a little bat flying above him right there. Batman number 26 variant. Number 33, variant cover. Alright, so those are my Batman ones. And also I've been trying to close some gaps as well for Batgirl. Because some of these Batgirls um, actually are uh, kind of close up a sto story arc in, some, uh, in this uh, Batman Volume 2 one as well. So it's, uh, it's kind of good to have those. And this is an Adam Hughes cover. And like I said, you guys know I'm a big fan of Adam Hughes. So... Definitely wanted to pick this one up. Beautiful cover. Also picked up number two. Picked up number three. Number four. I'm sorry, number five. And you know what? Sometimes, I, you know, I don't mean to get these doubles, to be honest with you. I, I, sometimes I just freaking forget, you know what I mean? I forget that I'd, I'd ordered one uh, either from eBay or um, the online comic book store, and then I totally forget, and then I, I wound up being taking doubles. I wonder, does that happen to you guys as well? Because I tell you what, it pisses me off sometimes. All right, and then I picked up number six, number seven, and I really love this cover right here, number nine. This is a uh, story arc of Night of the Owls. And it ties in with the Batman series. It's an absolutely gorgeous cover. And once again, I accidentally picked up two covers. But you know what? That That's probably not a bad thing, being that I actually love the cover to it. So I guess that's okay. Um, and I picked up number 14. Right there. That's a really beautiful cover. It has, uh, has the Joker standing on top of Batgirl. And he's got a knife. And yep. Really gorgeous variant cover right there. Picked up number 19. 22. This is the annual number one. Another beautiful cover. It's got Catwoman, Batgirl, and um, the uh, one of the owls on there. Alright. And then also picked up 38. And this is the uh, Flash 75th Anniversary variant. And this is annual number two. Love this cover. It's got Poison Ivy. It's got Batgirl all tangled up in her her plants and her roots. Sort of a, uh, a bondage cover. <laughs> um, Batgirl Endgame one shot number one. And another beautiful Adam Hughes Catwoman uh, uh, cover number 69. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, so uh, 
those are those ones. And now let me move on to some Marvel ones that I picked up, guys. All right, so I bought this one. Beautiful J. Scott Campbell cover of Spider-Gwen number one. This is the Campbell Store exclusive. And I bought this one actually online from the J. Scott Campbell Store. And this is, done, of course, this is, the coloring is also done by Nia Rufino. So, once again, they're always worked together. Beautiful, beautiful cover. And just the Mylar just totally brings out the color. I mean, look at the, the sunset in the background. It could be a sunset or a sunrise. You don't know. But uh, gorgeous cover. All right. Also picked up uh, Gardens of the Galaxy. Number 13. Variant edition is very, very beautiful cover, guys. Look at that. So, so well done. All right. And also, I'm trying to close up some gaps on my X23. So I wind up picking a whole bunch of X23s up. These are some Cho covers. And that's number two. That's number three. Number four, and this is X23 Target X. This is number five out of six, and this one is six out of six. All right, and then X23. This is number one of the third series, if I'm not mistaken. And this is number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Six. And number that oh I'm sorry this is actually X23 one shot of uh, this is uh, volume two series so um, I believe they only did one for the volume two one shot series if I'm not mistaken don't uh, I, I can't I can't remember guys I think I think it was either that one or it was this one I th might have been this one. Yeah, my memory is not the same as it used to be, so don't get me to lie to you guys. I'm uh, I'm actually just showing you what I, guys what I got, okay? And also this one is NYX. This is the second appearance of uh, X23. I do not have the first appearance of X23 in that because uh, it's just a little bit pricey right now. And with the holidays coming around, you know, you just kind of, kind of got to cut back on a few things. I also picked up uh, the uh, Wolverine number ten. This is a really beautiful cover of Wolverine fighting Sabretooth on there. And I think you guys remember from the movie um, when Sabretooth actually came out of the woods, and him, him and him, you know, him and Wolverine actually went went at it together. But uh, overall, I think that was a beautiful cover. So I picked this one up. And right. All right, guys. I'm, I am almost done. A couple more that I wanted to show you guys. And these are actually from some uh, independent Rosina scope. I, I, I wound up picking up, uh, I ended up picking up Klaus. Uh, just for the cover of it. Um, I, think, I think the cover is absolutely gorgeous, you know. And... Um, I'm 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 going to read this one, and looking for I heard, I heard the storyline is really good. This is actually about Santa Claus, but in a di in a, someone's different perspective of him. Okay, so I'm actually going to read that one, and actually picked up Lazarus number one. Now the the other one I showed you on my uh, one of my last videos, it was only the uh, the dollar one. It had the same cover and everything, but I didn't notice that it was a dollar one. And one of my subscribers actually pointed that out to me, and I'm glad he did. He was like, "Hey, that's that's a dollar one, uh, n not the actual first print." And I'm like, "Oh wow, I didn't even notice that." So I'm glad he actually pointed that out to me, and so I appreciate that, and um, definitely glad uh, he brought that up. And also, this came in as well. This is uh, Van Helsing versus Dracula number three. 
This is uh, the third variant cover to it. Just thought it was a beautiful, beautiful piece, so I picked that one up. And also, I got this one online. This is Naughty and Nice, number five. And overall, I just really love this sexy cover to it, guys. It's, uh, now, the artwork and the storyline within it, it's kind of, you know, little to be desired. However, I'm not so concerned about it because if I buy a book and I absolutely love the front cover to it and the stories are crappy and and just the artwork inside of it's not nice, I'm, I'm okay with it. Just, uh, just simple fact that, you know, it's just an overall beautiful well done cover and look what the mylar does for it it just kind of makes it all shine out and brings it out all right all right guys so that is i think this is everything of my haul that i gotten online through this past week and uh one more thing that i do want to do is uh i don't know if you guys know who the artist crystal Lara is but she does a lot of work for uh, Xenoscope and if you're really into some really beautiful covers in Xenoscope matter of fact I have a few of her covers that I like to show you guys and th this has been in my collection for quite some time this is Grim Fairy Tales number 105 this is by Crystal Lara and a number 15 oh sorry about that number 15 it's just beautiful look at that she does some amazing work Grim Fairy Tales, uh, Tale of Terror number 12, Robin Hood number 6, look at that, it's just gorgeous, another Robin Hood, and this is Wonderland, and these are all the covers that I have of her, and anytime I see her covers guys, I, I snatch them up in a heartbeat, because it just like I said, I, I'm just really... Really, really loving a lot of the, the artwork and some of these artists out there. And you know what? Overall, she's just an absolutely sweet person. I talk to her every once in, once in a while. And she had asked me today if I knew anybody who would be interested in, um, you know, purchasing um, some work that she did. She did this really gorgeous Batman. And uh, let me show you guys if you guys can see this. But this is, that's her right there. And she did this Batman in charcoal. So it's a huge print, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And she's actually selling that. So if anybody's really interested in that, or um, know anybody's interested in purchasing that, just get a hold of me. Send me a private message, and uh, it, you know, and maybe I can link you up with her so you guys can you know do discuss uh, prices and everything like that. And she also did. Here's another picture of the Batman it's just so beautiful and she also did a Hulk that she's also selling and that's the Hulk it's all done in charcoal but she does absolutely great work and as you guys saw some of the covers that I just showed you right there and so she's she's selling these two pieces and so if anybody's interested in uh, and getting a hold of her or wanting to, to purchase those, just uh, just contact me. Send me a private message, guys. Uh, once again, I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and checking out this video. And um, hopefully you guys tune in for tomorrow night for Comic Talk. Looking forward to, to getting together with a few people on there and just just talking and BSing a few things about comic books and whatever topics come up. All right? and, I and if you guys are interested in joining sometimes, just let me know. And then if you are, I'll send you a link to the uh, how to, to log into that. And, you know, of course, you got to have a, a Google Hangout account to be able to do all that stuff in a, in a webcam and, and what have you. But nevertheless, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. And thanks for coming by and stopping by, guys. Be safe out there and take care of each other.